want to continue with Autodesk Fusion 360 and make the mold for the plastic shell we made last time for our thumb drive. In the assembly I'll notice it's just a body so I'm going to go ahead and make a component out of this so I can move it to another assembly. So I'll pick that up with a copy, make a new assembly and drop it in. Now the next step I need to do is make my split line of the top and bottom mold cavity by putting a work plane between two edges. I want the bottommost edge of the clamp or the plastic shell. Very important I can be right on that edge. Now make a new sketch on that and draw me a two point rectangle around the part. You can make it any size you want. I'm just going to do it enough to have some material. And drag that down a little bit. Okay, now we have our size. We're going to go ahead and extrude it as a solid block. I did extrude it just enough on both sides to cover the piece. In that case, it'll be a total of an inch and a half. I want a new body. So at this point, the part is buried up inside the block. Let's cut a section through our part to take a look at this solid body. So a section through the XY. As you can see, we have a solid block with the part buried up inside it, the actual plastic shell. First thing I want to do, I want to subtract that plastic shell out of there. Do that with the modify command combined. Pick on the target body, which is the whole block, and the tool body will be the shell. Come down to the shell. Pick that and subtract it or cut. I don't need to keep the component. I'll say OK. I now have a hole within inside the main block. I need to split the body into two, the upper and lower mole parts. So I'll split body, use the construction plane, split this body with the construction plane. And I have three bodies. The part up inside of the plastic shell, the top and the bottom. I need this part inside the shell and the bottom joined together again. So I go to modify and combine. I want to pick on this one and this one to join them together into one component. I do not need to keep them. Say OK. Now we have upper and lower mole body. I'm going to go ahead and name these. This is the lower. And this would be the upper. Okay. I'm going to take this into assembly, so I need to make components of these both. I'll pick on both of them and create components. I want to add an as built joint to this, so I'm going to turn off the sectioning for a second and go ahead and add, add this joint between this upper and lower halves. I'll measure it cylindrical so I can have up down motion. I'm going to locate the point at the bottom and say OK. Now I want to drive that joint just to show you the two parts separated. So I'll just drive it up. I'll say inch and a half be fine. So now you can very clearly see the male and female 
section of the desire. Now we're all finished with our mold. You've made the top and bottom. Let's put it back together and actually make a part. Drive the joint back to zero. And let's make a part. Make that joint invisible. Okay. To do this, we'll use a new surfacing command. It's called boundary fill. Now, where the boundary between this the top mole and the bottom mole is actually the part I want. So all I have to do is pick boundary fill, pick on the top and the bottom, and then pick on the cells I want to keep. Now we have three squares. The top one would be the top body, the bot middle one would be the actual shell we want, and the bottom would be the bottom part. So I check on the center piece, which is the actual shell, with a new body. Now, if I go and go ahead and open my mold back up, drive it back up to minus inch and a half, you actually see there is a part inside finished. There is the body right there. So I'm just going to pick on it and move it out. So we just made a brand new shell piece. Let's add the appearance to it just to be sure we know what it is of my standard clear acrylic. So as you can see, you could punch these out all day. Thanks for watching.